Are you looking for red teaming skills or you are just curious to know what's the difference between pen testing and red teaming is if you are you are at this right place so in this video i will be sharing my take on crto or certified red team ops which is provided by zero point security and maintained by daniel aka rasta mouse red teaming goes beyond pen testing by stimulating real world cyber attacks and focusing on the entire organization's security posture what makes crto different you not only get a lifetime access to the entire course material but along with its future updates the entire course is covered using a c2 framework c2 or command and control framework so here we all will be using cobalt strike course structure is very well organized you will be starting from initial phishing attack and then getting your first shell on the active directory infrastructure and not only getting domain controllers but it goes way beyond that like inter domain forest attacks using active directory certificates data exfiltration evasion and many more so talking about evasions crto focuses on bypassing defenses such as windows defender asmi application white list the most important thing you will learn on this course is about opsec failures which can lead you to get caught by the defenders that is blue teamers so as a red teamer how to perform those attacks in more stealthier manner is essential believe me you will learn a lot in this course if we head over to the course page there are more than 70 plus lessons listed over there by the way link will be on the description below after you complete the lab exercises and the training modules there is one more essential step that you need to follow which i will give on my last tip so stick until the end of this video so how the crt exam goes the exam consists of eight flags and you need to achieve 75 percent in order to pass the exam so you must collect six out of eight flags on the exam you will be getting 48 hours of exam environment and a four day window so you can split it like 12 hours into four days or like 24 hours into two days basically you can start and stop the exam environment whenever you want and more about exam faqs i will link it below when you buy the course material you will get one free attempt to give the exam or if you want to jump straight into the exam you have to buy the exam voucher and take the exam here comes the tips section firstly while studying or performing any attack take some time to step back and check why this particular attack works in the first place like what are its configuration misconfiguration which is le uh, leading this attack to an successful exploitation so this can be easily done by using the lab dashboard as you will be having access every machines that you will attack on the lab infrastructure secondly take some time to learn the cobalt strike as it has multiple functionalities and you can add or extend more functionalities on top of it for example malleable c2 profiles where you can build your own custom c2 profiles and try to imitate or blend into the network's traffic or beacon object file where you can add any additional functionalities on your active beacon session so these sections are already covered in the course material in the subsection name extending cobalt strike 
feel free to do your own research on these topics. I hope you haven't skipped this video till here. But anyways, so here comes the final tip. In the exam environment, each and every machines will have AV on them. So after completing the lab exercises and the training modules, consider turning on the AV on every machines in the lab infrastructure. The full instruction is already given on the course with the help of GPOs and then try to do all the attacks starting from initial phishing attack to the end of this course. Look why certain attacks are being caught by the AV and how as a red teamer you can overcome it. So that's all for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful and if you have any questions or you need any further guidance feel free to drop them below and until next time stay secure and all the best for your CRTO journey.